Hello everybody and welcome back to my series on the advent of cyber 2022 by TriHackMe. Today we're gonna be dealing with day 10. This is again a little bit easier than yesterday's video which was a little bit harder for many people. But I guess hacking a game as it sounds from the intro could also be pretty interesting. So without further ado, my name is Avokari and it's time to get festive and crack open the 10th window of the TriHackMe advent of cyber 2022. You're a mean one, Mr. Yeti. Alright, hack a game. You're a mean one, Mr. Yeti. Senna's team has done well so far. The elves, blue and red combined, have been being secured everything technological all around. The bandit Yeti, unable to hack a thing, decided to go for Eldritch Magic as a last resort and trapped Elf Max Kitty in a video game during her sleep. Oh no. When the rest of the elves woke up, their leader was nowhere to be found until Elf McGrath noticed on one of the screens where Elf Max Kitty's pixelated figure could be seen. By the screen, an icy note read, Only by winning the unwinnable game shall your dear Elf Max Kitty be reclaimed. Without their chief, the elves started running in despair. How could they run a sock without its head? The game was rigged, and try after try, the elves would lose, no matter what. As struck by lightning, Elf Exploit Madrag stood up from his chair and said to the others, If we can't win it, we'll hack it. That's a good idea. So what are the learning ob objectives for today? We're going to learn how data is stored in the memory of games and other applications. We're going to use simple tools to find and alter the memory in the data, data in the memory. And then finally, we're going to explore the effects of changing that data on a running game. So again, let's start with some basics. The memory of a program, everything that is somewhere executed in a program, the data will be stored on the random access memory or RAM of a computer. So for the video game, this would be the HP, the maximum HP, the current HP, the current position, the movement speed, the direction we're facing, and all of that good stuff is somewhere stored in memory and is constantly updated. So if we're not able to modify these positions, we could trick the game into thinking that we're somewhere else, or we have more HP than we should have, or a higher score. But this is not as easy as it sounds, because you don't have like a table where you see HP and the values, but it's just somewhere in memory in binary data, most generally speaking. So we're gonna need a tool in order to navigate the memory. So we started the VM, already opened it up in a second window. We can actually open up the game if we want to. Let's start that up in the background. And in the meantime, we're gonna talk about CDIS. So CDIS is a browser plugin in order to explore the memory space of WebAssembly games. So the idea behind is that you have a tool which is easily to find the piece of data stored in memory and to be modified. This is already installed on our system. If you're using it locally, make sure to read the introductions here. So how can we access it? I hope the browser is already open. Um, yeah, we want to go advanced and proceed that page. Play the game, use arrows and the spacebar. Where am I? I am trapped. And why is my name changed to Elf McElf? Who did this to me? Okay, so this is beautiful old school game we're gonna look about around it a little bit later on first of all we're gonna go here to more tools and developer tools and then here is CDAS. so for CDAS, we can now use different stuff they're gonna explain it to us right now we've opened it up and yeah so first of all Let's go, wait, I need to click probably in this window, yeah. Move around, there is a guard. I want to first go into that house. Can we go into that house? No, we can't. Okay, so I guess we, uh, we interact with the guard here. Hey there, welcome to my five-star prison. Hope you enjoy your stay. Um, yeah, okay. Hey guard, I'm actually trying to escape any useful successions. Was 
Word. So, it's cave, you say, but I've worked very hard on making yourself comfy enough. You even have room service. Oh, we have room service. Besides, the jail is as secure as it gets. Let me tell you, you wouldn't be able to get out even if you won one of Sunder's flying reindeer. Okay, so we can't fly out. The only way out is through the door behind me, and I'm not opening it for you. Okay, that's good to know. So, right here is our only way out. Pretty please? No. Pretty, pretty please? Still no. Yeah, you're annoying one elf. So, he makes a deal. He thinks of a number between 1 and... Oi, that's a lot. If you can guess it, you're out. Good luck with that one. And we need to enter a number. So... Let's say that one. Okay. You really thought you could guess? It's not like you can meet mines, dude. Okay, I'm gonna go back to jail and start enjoy the video view. So do we just have the same talk over and over? Yeah. So what I guess is now happening is that in the background they're calculating a random number. And we need to find out that number. So um, they, they say here this is a 30 bit integer value. Probably. So we have this one. And we want to use the equals operator. So we have multiple, we have equals, we have null equals, less than, greater than, less than equal, and greater than equal. Um, and we need to find out where it is stored, first of all. So the number is one. Okay, it is not. So let's see now where this one is at. Six, four, six, five, zero, seven, three. And we search for it. Okay, so we know at the address we have this value. So I guess if we go right here, wait, we copy that address, say enable D1. E0 640. But now we can actually bookmark that one. Oh, that, that, that is easier. Okay, that's cool. So we can bookmark it, and now it's here. And we can see. Want the read watch and the write watch, probably. Or can we actually just manipulate the number? Oh god, we can. Okay, so let's go through that one again. So... We have that number here, and what we wanted is that number, because we know this number. So let's set the value, then go back to search, and we guess it is 4645073. There we go. You, you got it, but how? What kind of dark magic is this? Are you an elf or a witch? Stop reading my mind. I'm opening the door. Just stop messing with my head. Okay. Finally out of here. Now let's move on. Benedetti, why are you out of the prison? Did the guard fall asleep again? Huh? Who's talking? I'm the fearful Benedetti. I'm at the end of the bridge. But the devs were too lazy to make a camera close up for me. Ha, <laughs> nice one. Well, I'm not actually here. This is my avatar. Pretty nice, huh? In reality, I'm running free and infiltrating your networks. In any case, you'll never see the real me, because you won't even make it through the bridge. All of Santa's servers will be mine. Christmas will be ruined. 
Okay, so I guess if we now move forward here, we lose health, HP, and if only I had more HP. Okay. So there might be multiple... Let's see if there are multiple solutions to that. First of all, I want to try out the speed hack. Let's see if this helps anything. Oh no. This was the wrong way. Wait, 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 wait. Enable. Enable. Can I move? No. Goddamn. Something just broke. Yeah, they said sometimes this might not. Ah, oh, this was not a good idea. This was not a good idea. So let's reload the page and hope that it works then. Okay, so I had to reset the whole browser. But something broke, but now I can move again. So I guess we want to manipulate now our HP bar. So the first... Oh. Yeah, the question is, does HP is just in numbers? So my first guess, one, two, three, four, five, six hits, and then I'm dead. So let's see if we find six somewhere in here. No. Okay. So... The next thing we could do here is we want to do some high numbers. So let's take 10,000 and go less than and search all of them. We have a lot with value zeros. This doesn't work. This doesn't help me. And... Hmm. for differential search. No, this doesn't help me at all. If we have aligned addresses. Remember it has decreased since the last search. You can run a second search. 44 huh. Okay So what what could we do here to start differential search your first search needs to be done with an empty value Oh, so we're doing a differential search empty for differential search Okay, so let's search that we have all of them now we need to decrease our HP bar once. Probably. There we go. And search again. Hit that. Lose HP. Search again. No? Okay. Okay, let's kill ourselves. And try that again. So we need to start our differential search with a oh no, oh no, oh no, equal to that. Empty value. Why is this not working? Search. No. Kill ourselves again. Search. Well, we're not getting any results from that. Restart search. Search. There we go. We have to restart it because otherwise. We would be get running into the problem of the differential search, which would be equal. So let's restart the search here. Search, we get the results. Good. Now we move into it, get hit once, 
move out. Search again. A lot less. So. My fault. So now we want to have less than. But I think we got hit. We have 41 results now. Okay. So is there anything interesting? There's too much still. So what we could try to do now again is maybe move him back again. Use HP again. And search it again. We have six results now. So that one is 40. Let's try. Actually that one off. Let me guess. 80. No, that's not it. Marks. Move in once more. So this is the acceleration this off. Oh yeah, we found it. See, once we got hit. This increased again. So let's do that to, I don't know, to 10,000. Can we now just run through it? Yes, we can. Nice. I didn't expect you to get this far. Prepare to face my ultimate spell. The Benediatic Cloud that shoots nobles from a... Cloud? <sighs> you survived. That's impossible. The game was designed to be unwinnable. Can I move again? Please don't hurt me, my beautiful avatar. Here, I'll restore your name. Oh thanks, that's nice from you. Oh wait, it's Elf Max Kitty with a single D. Give me back my name and get me out of this game now! Oh, alright, alright. No need to be rude. I'll just tweak your name a second time. And there's the flag that will get you out. You're free to go. Yeti, yeti, yeti. Flag, flag, flag. Okay. The yeti. DHM. Yeti, yeti, yeti. Flag, flag, flag. There you go. Let's submit that. We still need the guard's flag. So... Sigh, at last. Let's get out of here, send our servers won't patch themselves. I guess I need to run back now. And... Talk to him again? Yes. I'm not thinking about anything. Go away. THM 5 star flags. With 3 sad. Okay. THM 5 star Flags. Oops, oh, that's the wrong one. Is there a star? No. In the case. And the A is a 4. Nice. So the second one was just trial and error. As you can see right here, once I moved, I think it was, wasn't it? Once the values changed. So I just decided. So 910, 800 something. See, so this this is probably something like the location or so. So I just decided, since that one is not stable, the other one also changed. Just adapted, and the R went out of the game. So yeah, this was a short introduction into memory, and how you could modify it in order to hack your way through a short game. That was actually pretty pretty cool, I have to admit that. I really did enjoy it. So if you like the challenge today, there is the walking and application room, which goes over similar topics to this one. So I hope you enjoyed it. That was it for the today's video on the advent of cyber, so make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell 
um, to be notified when the next video is coming up. Also make sure to like this video if you enjoy the content. Tomorrow there will be the next day of the advent of cyber. Other than that, I'm Aokari and have fun hacking your way through the advent of cyber 2022. Take care.